Hi everyone, I'm Sally Terry, and here is another Load It and Go idea to make your machine quilting life easier and to make your machine quilting go a lot quicker. You know I love the low mark, no mark way of working with a quilt top, and yet there are times when you look at a quilt top and you're thinking it is so structured if I really did something random, it wouldn't look good. It would actually not accent, but fight with it. This is a very structured antique quilt, and it's hand-pieced, but as you can see, this one lays very, very flat. And then this is high contrast to that one. This is, again, hand piece, but extremely random assembled blocks where they've just, you know, each one is a little different. The ideas there certainly, but if you squint at it, and squinting always helps, you can't, it's so random that you're not going to be able to see anything. Again, if I put something really random on this, then that's not going to work. So it needs structure and it needs design to settle all this down. Whereas this, I think the structure is just going to go beautifully with it. So I can't wait to get this one done. So I grabbed the Terry Twist template set because these... quilts, especially this one, the blocks are not square at all, and the way the template set works is that there's all kinds of room beyond, this is four inches, beyond the four inches, even to five, so if you have a block that doesn't quite fit, then I don't have any problem because I can put it and go as far as I need to go in the ditch and then turn it, and turn it one more time, and I can actually go on the inside here, and turn it one more time. So I'm always turning it counterclockwise. Now you could also make it work in this little block here as well. Then I would grab maybe the 8 inch one out of the set and now I know the 8 inch one is going to work. And so now I'm doing four blocks at a time. Mix and match the shapes, but if you keep everything structured and it doesn't matter. You could free motion and use the Terry Twist shape as the spine. and then free motion, use the walking borders technique on each side of it, uh, that would actually work great for you because then you could put as much density, especially on a quilt like this where I need to gather up some extra material so that it, it does hang flat <laughs> because this one certainly doesn't lay flat as you can see.
So the, the template set, I think, would be an excellent choice here because you need structure. Everything is going to be the same shape over and over again. It would give the eye a place to go. I hope that helps. I hope that makes your quilting life easier. So don't forget to stop by sallyterry.com for more and say hi.